Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I'm going to film a video about what's in my hospital bag. So I've had two babies in the hospital so far. This will be my third baby. I know that you don't necessarily need much because the hospital provides it. Um, and I guess it can change from hospital to hospital. I had two babies at two different hospitals and then um, I'm going to have this baby at the same hospital I had last time. So they provide a lot of things and you don't necessarily need to bring clothes for yourself or the baby while you're staying there. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm bringing. So we live really, really close to the hospital. So it's really not that big of a deal if I forget something because my husband can run home and come back within five minutes. Um, he'll stay at home with our children. I'm gonna have to stay in the hospital an extra night because of um, I am strep B, is that what it's called? Strep B positive, so uh, I have to stay in an extra night, which I'm not happy about, but it's just the way it is. So, um, yeah. But I still would like to have everything as prepared as possible. So I have my big duffel bag. This is a Tumi duffel bag. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> For as little as I need, I have a lot in here. I have used this Tumi duffel bag all three times that I've gone into labor. Um, I don't know if I will go into labor this time or if I'll just be induced, which my induction is set for Tuesday. We're gonna try for the weekend though. <laughs> We're gonna try to make this baby come. So if you have any suggestions or tips to make the baby come, um, last time Brian took me in our Jeep and drove me around and it was very bumpy and very uncomfortable but I went into labor that night so he's probably gonna bring out the Jeep and we're probably gonna go for a Jeep ride sometime this week to <laughs> try to make everything happen but an induction sounds pretty good um, but yeah so I've used the same bag all three times on top of my bag I have a notebook I like notebooks I like writing things down um, I also have a list on here and a pen attached of things that I need to bring with me before I leave because these are things that you can't just necessarily put in your bag um, because you use them on a daily basis. First is a wallet because I need my driver's license and my insurance card. Next my camera and then our phones and the iPads. Um, entertainment for me, entertainment for our children. Uh, our children will most likely go with us. My parents might come over and watch them a little bit, but they'll probably end up coming over to the hospital quite a bit. So um, the iPads are very nice. If you're not into screen time, uh, this is the time to be into screen time is during these hospital stays. Uh, I also would like to pack a bag of kind of activity stuff just to kind of have in the car, um, like coloring things and stuff like that, just to bring with us. But um, so far, just iPads are fine. I also have a folder in here. Um, in order to get the epidural at our hospital, um, you're supposed to watch a video uh, and print some kind of completion form, but there was like all this paperwork that I could fill out beforehand, so I filled it out beforehand. Um, and I also have paper in here uh, in case they'll put the baby's footprints on the paper. Uh, at this hospital, they usually put it on like a piece of paper that they already have, and that's like on the day you leave. Um, but I think everything is different from hospital to hospital, so you have to check that out. But So I have that stuff that goes right on top too because I get the epidural as soon as I can. Not because I have unpleasant births. I've had very pleasant births. Um, but I think that what makes them very pleasant is that I get the epidural as soon as I'm, I'm allowed to get it. I'm like, I would like to get the epidural as soon as it is available. And um, my births have been good so far. So fingers crossed that still continues to go in that way. I have my toiletry bag. I love this little bag. It was a freebie at Saks many, many years ago. Um, it's just terry cloth and it's amazing. So inside of my toiletry bag, I'm probably gonna make a mess here and I hopefully I won't forget anything now. I've got my brush from Aveda, hair clips. We sell those ones in our store and I really love them. 
um, hair ties. These ones are by Emmy J, and I really love these as well, so I've got some of these. Bobby pins, shampoo and conditioner in like sample packs. Um, this one's by R Co. It's the Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner, and I really like this uh, set, so it's a good one. Dry shampoo. Um, this is their little mini size, travel size one. It's the R Co. Also, Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I use this already, and I have the big one, but it's nice to have the little sample one for my hospital bag. I have these two Evian uh, Natural Mineral Water Facial Sprays, and I believe that I use them. I don't know if I use them first time and going into labor, but the second time um, I did use these and they were nice. A travel size deodorant. This one is native deodorant um, and it's coconut and vanilla and it smells pretty nice. I found that at Target and I was very happy that they had that because I've been using native deodorant lately and I like it. Just a travel container with um, some body wash in it. This is the body wash fresh lemon sugar bath and shower gel just a little bit in here a toothbrush and toothpaste the crest i'm a crest fan i don't know what kind of toothpaste you guys are into but i'm into crest this ola henriksen face wash an ola henriksen facial serum and an ola henriksen um sea rush brightening gel cream so that's my little skincare routine there hand sanitizer and this jet lag mask by summer fridays <laughs> just in case just in case so that's toiletries i probably will add a makeup remover in the toiletry bag um i ordered a Boshia makeup breakup cleansing oil and that should come today so i'll throw that in there as well and this makeup bag this is a prada small cosmetic bag very nice i've had this for multiple years as well I'll show you what I've decided to bring in here. Probably most important is the fresh sugar lip treatment. Sometimes your your lips get very, very chapped and this has been my favorite for so, so long. Um, but it's just a really nice, basically, chapstick. Like, the best of the best. This Marc Jacobs um, Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation in the color Medium R310. Um, and a new beauty blender. That's such a beautiful color. The MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium. And this little Chanel Kabuki brush that I had. This Chanel Powder Blush in number 260 Alizane. A very, very nice color. And then I like that it comes with a little brush so I can just use that to apply it. Chanel Le Beige's Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in Medium. Really, really pretty. I can't wait to actually use this. And it comes with the little eyeshadow applicators, which I will use there as well. This little tiny Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara sample size. Kind of perfect to stick in there. And this Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner. It's the dagger one uh, in just black. MAC lashes in 35, if in case I'm feeling a little bit glam, with the duo lash adhesive in the dark tone. The Anastasia dip brow pomade in soft brown. My new little brush that goes with it. Number 14 little brush. That's how I apply it. This Le Rouge Crayon from Chanel in number nine, Beige Rose. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Such a lovely, lovely color. And then I do have a gloss. Um, this is the YSL Glaze and Gloss in number three. Very shiny and pretty. Also in my makeup there's bag, there's a little pocket, and inside that little zippered pocket I have some bobby pins and a hair tie, and then there's also a little mirror. However, I found this nice little mirror at Target. You can see the painting on the wall there. 
um, but it has like a little stand and it seems so nice and so I'm in the baby room you can see the crib um, but yeah I like this so I put this in my hospital bag I packed some water wipes not really for the baby but kind of more for the kids um, when they come to the hospital uh, just to wipe off their hands and stuff a nice little washcloth just you know for me and then in the side pocket of my bag I have this little charging thing by the company anchor I got it on Amazon it's got two charging ports I have two cords um, that are six feet long uh, for charging purposes so two of those and I have my headphones to use with like my iPad and stuff when I want to watch like shows on it and stuff and I'm there all alone by my lonesome for my stay I have just this kind of cotton little robe um, just kind of nice and comfy in case I get cold I have this just plain black little nightgown just really simple I have one nursing bra this one is by Medela. Is that what it's called? Yes. Medela, and I got it at Target. These shorts that are maternity shorts, I got them at Pee in a Pod. They're so comfortable. And I'll probably put in another nursing, um, just a nursing tank um, in the bag just for my hospital stay. However, I plan on wearing just the gowns the majority of the time that I'm in there. Uh, just because it's easy and they're constantly coming in to check um, down there and check your uterus to make sure that it's kind of shrunk back down. Um, so uh, it's just really easy to kind of be in what they have. And then they give you those mesh underwear. Um, I don't know. So I just kind of prefer to be in what they have, but I like to have just a couple options just in case. I also packed a pair of my Pure Bar socks um, since they have the sticky surface on the bottom uh, and they're just kind of comfy socks. I don't typically wear socks around but I thought, you know, I'll just bring them just in case and then I will um, just wear flip-flops over to the hospital so uh, I'll have those as well. A going home outfit for me, um, just this white tank top, these breast pads just in case. I don't know if I'll even have any kind of leakage this go around. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but um, I figured I'd just bring them just in case. Who knows? The, the milk might come in a lot sooner than it does since it's the third go around. And these black pants, I've worn them every time I've come home from the hospital. Um, they're very comfy. They're by a company called Monroe. They're, they're regular pants. They're just a little sweatpant, um, but they're very comfy and they have pockets. Two little outfits for the baby. These are uh, kiki pants, um, little pajama kind of set, and I'll have to put socks in there with this. But most likely um, the baby will come home wearing this little outfit, um, which is a really old outfit by STEM, and it's just a gray and white stripe, has the pant with the little feet and then a little hat. And then I brought my own swaddle blanket, um, really not for when we're in the hospital, but when we leave. And then I have a whole big bag of snacks. Um, it's really heavy because it involves bottles of water. Um, and I don't necessarily need to have this, but uh, I just will. And I also should bring a container of some sort with change and dollars in it for vending machines, just in case, just in case. However, there's so many things close to this hospital uh, that it really shouldn't be a problem. And there's lots of things to eat in this hospital, <laughs> and so that shouldn't be a problem. But maybe I don't need it. No, I, I will. Let me show you what's in this bag. Basically just a bunch of bottles of water. Um, so I have a bunch of bottles of water that contains granola bars and uh, fruit snacks, almonds, and pirate booty, which are awesome. Some special candy. 
M&M's and Skittles. I have a couple more orders coming though. So that's what my possible bag consists of right now, but we'll see. I might change it up like clothing wise for the baby, um, for myself. So we'll see, but um, that's where it is right now. Um, and so it's packed, so I'm prepared. Um, but if you have any questions or have any suggestions, feel free to post them below. But I figured I'd at least show you now before anything happens and I uh, don't get a chance to film this video, I can always film a what I used video. Um, maybe kind of what I've taken from the hospital, kind of things like that, uh, to give you a better perspective. But uh, that's it for now. I think my toiletries and everything are pretty good. Um, it's just that the clothing may change um, for myself and the baby. And the nice thing is because we do live so close, I don't have to pack anything for my husband or my children, really, um, except maybe some little activities just for them to have a little bit of a little bit of fun in there um, when they're when they're visiting me, which I hope is a lot. <laughs> I hope is a lot. Two days isn't that long, but I don't know. I spend like every waking moment <laughs> with them when I can. The one goes to school, so um, if I have my, if I have the baby on the weekend, then um, I want him with me. <laughs> I want them with me. I just I just like them with me. Um, but yeah, suggestions, anything, let me know, and I'll see you all next time with another video. Goodbye.